Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Income School here. Uh, Ricky here with Jim. Today we want to talk to you about a couple of the most important things when you're looking at building a blog or a niche website and how to make it profitable. We're going to talk to you about one, how we come up with good profitable ideas and topics for your blog or for your niche website. And then number two, we're going to talk about the most important factor for um, bringing traffic to your site. Really, that's key for actually earning a living with a website. You got to get people there. And the most important tool and the most important tip that you need to know is one thing that most people sort of uh, forget, I suppose. Yeah, we've uh, worked with a lot of people through Income School in starting their blogs in addition to what we've done ourselves. And, um, you know, just a few years ago, uh, you know, we were eating cold fish sticks and uh, it was tough to uh, to uh, to find any income online. I can remember the first paycheck I got from from a blog. It was like, is this real? Like, is this legal? Should I turn this over? <laughs> it's it can be really tough when you're in the beginning stages to see what your blog is going to become a year and two years from now. So don't be afraid to dream a little bit uh, during the webinar because um, we have to just imagine what your blog is going to become and not worry so much on what it's going to look like today and 30 days from now because it's, it's going to be tough to build your blog at the beginning, to get it set up, to get it looking nice, and you know you learning to write good articles for your website. But I promise you can get there. Uh, we've taught other people how to do it, and we've done it lots of times ourselves. Um, and these are the steps that we follow. This is opening the kimono, so to speak, <laughs> um, on our business, just showing you everything that we've done. Uh, but first, we want to show you uh, what's possible. So I'm going to send you over to the computer. And uh, I want to show you how exactly our sites earn money. So one of our favorite ways to earn an income is with Amazon Affiliate. Anybody can sign up for this. Just go to the regular Amazon.com. Down here in the footer is this link, Become an Affiliate. You can sign up. It's completely free. Um, and what they do is they're going to give you but usually around 8% of whatever you sell. So if I just link someone to Amazon and then they go buy something, I don't have to own the item to sell it to them or anything else. I just send the traffic to Amazon and Amazon sends me an 8% commission. Awesome yeah. is what I call that. <laughs> anyway, these are Amazon earnings for the last 30 days. Now this is from a few websites. I've built this up now over a few years um, for a few websites. I earned $9,000 in the last 30 days. But let's go to a website that's brand, brand new, maybe. Uh, let's go. This is my wife's website. She just started this last month, and she earned 20 bucks this month. I mean, it's tiny to begin with, but I guess that's one of the points that we want to make during the webinar. Every website starts out small, right. um, and the reason that you get successful is people that have stayed with it for several months. Uh, it's hard writing to a ghost town oh, in the yeah. beginning. It, you know, it's just tiny. You see your traffic and it's like 20 people a day, nothing. But if you, if you're diligent and you stay with it over a period of months, we'll show you ways that Google will trust your website and you just see this hockey stick growth all of a sudden. And so that's what we're doing right now. Right now, us and our business, we're, we're planting seeds right now. We're starting lots of these little websites that are not getting much traffic right now, but we've seen it enough times. We know that we're making the right changes, they're going to hockey stick like some of the other sites we have that have huge amounts of traffic and income. Okay, so that's one way to right. to monetize a website. What, what are some other ways that you monetize? Well, there. I mean, we talk about the Amazon affiliate program. There are lots of other affiliate programs, so um, don't just assume it's just Amazon. Um, so... Affiliate is really the number one and probably the easiest way. And affiliate just means sending traffic to somebody else yep. who's going to sell to somebody. You're, you're you just get a commission. Exactly. You're basically advertising somebody else's products. Um, and so here's another one, Commission Junction, which is actually now CJ Affiliate by Conversant. They change their name. They always have to change their name. Yeah. It's neat. <laughs> and it, it just lists a ton of different affiliate programs, just right. tons of them you can go sign up for. So like one that we are an affiliate for is Bluehost. We yep. send traffic to Bluehost for people that want to start their blog. Uh, you'll see our Bluehost affiliate link if, uh, as you get started with Income School. And when you sign up for that, we make... 
Uh, six, is it $65? $65 is the normal commission. We've sent them enough traffic. They've actually boosted it. They came to us and said, if you do a little bit more on your site, we'll send you 85 all right. So, uh, so you get eighty five bucks, and I don't have to run a server farm and nope. like serve all these people. All I have to do is send, like, make links to their website, and then they track who buys and give us the cut. It's awesome. Yep. So this is our favorite way to run a website. I also have websites like uh, I run one of the largest photography websites on the internet called ImprovePhotography.com. And this is not at all a passive site. It takes, no. you know, this is my everyday job. This is what I'm working on is in is improvephotography.com. Um, and I'll sell you products. So, you know, you go to the store and you can purchase, you know, digital downloads of a video training course or uh, all these different things. So you can definitely run a website like this where you're just selling, you know, digital products and things like that. But our favorite kind of business is these small websites on tiny little topics. Some people call them niche sites. Uh, you know, you take a, an art, a topic like, uh, you know, uh, the best uh, survival knives is your website. And then you just write, you know, 30, maybe 50 articles on those on that website just about survival knives. And you can earn that affiliate commission. And the nice thing about that type of website that's a smaller topic is it's totally passive. I, let me show you an example of that. So this is AdThrive. Uh, this is the company that uh, serves up ads on, on my website about knives, about pocket knives. And last month, I earned $2,000 just from running ads on that website and another $2,200 uh, from Amazon Affiliate. So it's earning $4,000 a month. I haven't written one article on that website in well over a year and a half. Yep. I haven't even logged into that website in six months, I would say. Uh, it's totally passive income. But it's not easy income. It's actually really hard to get started. There are a lot of steps you need to take and a ton of pitfalls you can make in the beginning. So the goal of this webinar, now we've kind of inspired you, hopefully, uh, <laughs> kind of given you the vision. Uh, what we want to do now on the webinar is, like I said, open the kimono and show you exactly the steps we take, skipping nothing uh, of how we choose those, those profitable topics for websites, how we get the traffic to them, and how we monetize them. So... Enough, enough of the inspiration. Let's That's let's right. let the rubber right hit the it. road. So let's um, let's dive into what makes for a profitable uh, topic for a niche website. Um, you know, the first thing is the most important thing you're going to do on this website is write. You're going to come up with content that people are going to want to read. They're going to search for. Um, I, I'm I'm going to jump on that. Yeah. When we do niche site consultations, which we'll show you at the end of this webinar, we're actually going to mm -hmm. well, we're going to pitch you. Hopefully, hopefully you'll sign up to work with us. Um, and so when people send us their niche site consultations, all the time we see somebody that says, you know, I've spent thousands of dollars on all these programs about how to start get started in in, in internet marketing. I'm four yep. years down the road, and I have I don't have a successful site. We just got one yesterday. Yeah, um, it happens all the time, and it makes me sad because I think, man. Four years? You, this Nothing. Should, yeah. <laughs> six months from now, we should have something rolling. And you don't need to spend thousands of dollars. No. You this don't. Is, companies make it, so, bloggers make this so much more complicated than it really needs to be. Anyway, right. with my point with that is the one thing that will cause you to fail is if you don't write content. Yeah. We see people all the time who make these beautiful blogs, and we'll show you how to make a beautiful site even if you've never done it before, mm -hmm. who write like three articles and then yeah. just sit there like, well, I don't know how to get traffic to the website. Yeah. So I, why it's is never it, gonna succeed. Why is you know? nobody coming? <laughs> right, anyway, we can show you exactly how to do it. You just have to follow through all the way. Yeah. Uh, this isn't uh, a get rich quick scheme. It is a get rich scheme, but it's a get rich slowly scheme. It is yeah. going to take time and it's going to take some work at the beginning. That's right. And so that being said, you got to pick a topic that you can enjoy writing about. Um, you know, you can make a niche website out of just about anything. You can write, you can make a successful blog, but if you're not going to be able to motivate yourself to go write, um, 
you know, 30 or 40 articles, good articles on this topic, it's not something that you should pick as a topic for your website. Yeah, so here's an example of that. Bad example from me. Um, this is soundproofexpert.com. It doesn't look like much now because it isn't much. Uh, I just wrote this one article on a new website. doesn't look that great yet, but it's one article and it is useful. Uh, so I created this, uh, oh, maybe six months ago I wrote this one article. I'm not passionate about soundproofing a house. And so it's like pulling teeth for me to go back to this blog. But hey, I think it earned 20 bucks this month just nice. from one article. So uh, <laughs> anything can be a start, but I agree with you. Find something that you do enjoy and you want to talk about. Absolutely. Okay, so that's number one. The thing that I look for when I'm trying to choose a, a website is something that um, that has the right dollar amount for commission, um, for affiliate commission. So if we're going to monetize this with Amazon, which I think is a good idea, though it's definitely not the only affiliate program, um, I like to th find purchases that are between $150 or even $100 and $250. Uh, if something is too expensive that you're recommending, like you're writing reviews of Tesla cars, Yee, that's a little that you know that's a hundred thousand dollar purchase, and so nobody's gonna read your review and be like, I'm just gonna buy right now and click the buy button. Usually, these websites only give you the commission if they purchase within 24 hours or sometimes 30 days, just depends on the program. Um, and so, if a if an item is too expensive, um, you know laptop computers, uh, projectors for a home theater, those are expensive items. It's probably going to be something that they're going to read 10 or 15 blog post reviews on. Uh, think about it for a couple weeks, put in their, their Amazon wish list, and eventually buy. But if it's not within 24 hours of the time they click that link, you don't get your commission. So I find that $100 is a big enough commission that it's, it's worth writing articles for. You know, you're going to be getting about eight bucks every time somebody clicks your link and, link and buys, uh, which is great when you have a lot of traffic. Um, but it's it's not too big that people think about it forever. Exactly. Yep. Okay. All right. So the next one that I would bring up is, you know, pick a topic that you could actually monetize. We used to say, um, you know, back when we were kind of starting that if you could get traffic, you could turn it into money. And that is true. But um, I totally believe in beginning with the end in mind. Um, you should definitely pick a niche that you can monetize one of a few different ways. We've talked about affiliate marketing through Amazon. So if you have a niche or a topic for your blog that um, lends itself to products or services or courses or things that you could link to through affiliate programs, then that's going to work a lot better than you know another topic that maybe doesn't have those things. Um, a couple other ways that we monetize these websites um, that are a little bit more work, less less passive, but um, there are how-to type products that you can sell, um, eBooks, guides, courses, things like that. Um, you can sell digital products, or if you really want to get into it, you can eventually sell physical products. There's a lot more uh, work that goes on into those things. But make sure that whatever topic you choose is something that you have... Um, at least a few ideas of how to monetize. You may not end up doing all of those things. You may not, it may not ever be what you thought it was going to be. It may turn into something even better. That's pretty common in business. Mm -hmm. um, but if you don't have any sort of path to monetization in mind when you start the site, it's going to be a lot more work. Yeah, I think the same thing. Uh, I don't think you have to have like a business plan no, and no. your mission statement for your business and stuff. I think some people waste so much time on that beginning stage that they don't just get started. Um, but I don't think it's a good business model to just say, I'm just going to start my website and see what happens. Uh, we've changed with that over time. Uh, we feel like you need to have a good monetization strategy. The good news is we're going to help you individually uh, with this. At the end of this webinar, we're going to pitch you on our, our program that you can sign up for that you'll send us the ideas of things that you maybe have for some websites or things that you're interested in. And we'll, like me and Ricky, and we, this isn't like outsourced to no, India. No. <laughs> like we'll sit down and look at your, at your survey, uh, talk together often about the ideas that you have. Mm -hmm. And then we'll sit here in front of these mics and we'll record a 10 or 15 minute, um, audio MP3 kind of talking through the ideas with you and recommending what kind of site you should start, uh, how to monetize it, etc. And then 
we're going to send you through a program. It's 60 days long where we send you an email almost every day uh, for 60 days with a short video, two or three minutes, that walks you through exactly what step you need to take. This is like click here, do this the first week, showing you how to st set up the website. And the rest of the 40 days is about getting traffic and and monetizing it. Uh, so it's a really neat program. Uh, we can talk about that a little bit later. Yeah, at the end. Sure. All right. So I want to point you out to an article, though. If you're if you are intimidated by this, maybe some of you have seen this. Uh, just Google niche site ideas. A niche site just means a small topic kind of website, or it's at incomeschool.com slash niche hyphen site hyphen ideas. Um, anyway, this is me and Ricky's brain is what this article is. Every time we have an idea for a, a topic of a website that would be really profitable, um, but we just, you know, we don't have the time to, to pursue all of these, uh, we write it right here in this article. Um, and there are tons of ideas. So if you want to just like download our brain and kind of see what topics for websites we'd be interested in it's just right here yep. come read through it. a lot of people get inspiration from this article and then say okay i'm ready to start let's let's sign up for the program or do it yourself we have lots of free information on the website too Okay, um, seasonality is another big one. Um, I have a number of seasonal websites. I just sold a website about boating, um, and it, it was a good website. I sold it for almost 70, no, I think it was over 70,000. I think it was $74,000 I sold the website for uh, to a, a guy in Korea bought the website. Uh, websites are pretty commonly bought and sold. So in fact, a lot of people have it as their business model. You build up a blog for a couple years, and then you go to a broker and you have them sell it they'll usually sell for about 26 times the monthly income so if your website is earning one thousand dollars a month and it doesn't have huge expenses the website would sell for twenty six thousand um, dollars anyway so i built this i built this website i wrote 30 articles on it i let it just sit there i only well, i think it was like 34 articles in fairness i wrote 34 articles and the website just sat there i did almost nothing you know maybe added one article in a year and a half, it just sat there. From the, the work that I did in 30 days, I built it and let Google just start to give traffic to it over time, which we're going to talk about. And the website sold for thirty for seventy four thousand um, dollars, plus all the income that it had earned in the in that time. Uh, so it you can definitely build passive websites. But you have to be careful about seasonality. The trouble with that website is it's seasonal. You get a big spike of traffic when everybody's boating in the summer, and then traffic crashes. Uh, except for Christmas, you get a little bump as people are buying presents for their boats. Um, but so what I'm saying is, it's not that a seasonal site can't be successful. Obviously, it can. Just that. Do you really want to put all of your time and effort into something you're only going to get income from for a few months? If you put the same effort into something that's popular year round, you're probably going to end up ahead, right? right. Um, so I don't think it's a deal breaker, but there are tons of seasonal type websites. You know, anything about uh, football, you know, you write a football website. Well, there's a season for football and it's the fall. Uh, so uh, in... March, you're just not going to be getting much traffic to that website about football, uh, for baseball, for wakeboarding, for uh, almost anything that happens outside hunting. There's a season for these things, and it's going to hurt. You know, a website recommending gifts for seven-year-old kids. That would actually be a great website. I could use it right now. Um, but uh, but it's seasonal. So it's, it's just something to watch out for. Yep, Absolutely. Okay, the next one I want to talk about that people get worried about a lot is competition. They uh, say, is this, you know, this topic or this um, niche, as they say, uh, is this too competitive? I, I search and I find some other websites in this niche, and so I'm afraid that I'll never be able to compete. For virtually every topic out there, the there is going to be somebody else writing about it generally, um, but there's nobody out there that's going to write about it the way you are. And the nice thing about the internet is it reaches almost everyone mm -hmm. in the world. Okay. So your, your potential market is literally huge. Yep. Okay. So, and there are people out there, they're going to like the way that you write, the way that you approach the topic. Um, and you're going to answer questions, not, you're going to answer questions differently and you're going to answer different questions than other people. 
Um, and so in the end, when somebody searches a specific question, a specific topic, your site's going to be able to come up even if there are a hundred other sites that are talking about the same generic topic. Okay. So don't worry so much about competition. Um, the one thing that I would say, uh, about competition is you're going to have a hard time if you're going to be in the personal finance niche topic or if you're going to if you're going to try to make a site in the health and oh, wellness health is these, tough they're way, they're way overdone way 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 overdone and Anything there's thing about losing weight yeah oh you are up yeah. against mega million dollar businesses and that's <sighs> that's where it's tough it's not that you're just competing with other bloggers and there are tons of other bloggers out there but you're competing with WebMD, you're competing with MyFitnessPal and all the different fitness apps out there that also have a blog that are paying professionals to write and then edit all their content. So it's just going to be really hard for you to, to really ever rank against them in those, those two industries, okay? Um, but pretty much you know, anything else. Photography. You're good. I have the yeah. one of the very largest photography blogs in the world. Uh-huh. Well, guess what? It wasn't the only photography blog when I got started. There were lots of photography blogs before improved photography. Lots of them. And I thought the same thing when I started it. I guess it's been seven years now. Uh, I started and I thought, oh man, there's so many others that are doing so much better than me. But you know what? You stick to it and you work at it and you can build a website anywhere. Um, that niche has become more and more competitive um, now. If I were starting today... I wouldn't start a general photography blog, but can you still make a successful site about photography? Absolutely. Yes. So, so get a smaller topic though that you can own. Get something you can just dominate. And the small topic does not mean small income. I hope we've showed that to you. Uh, we have websites on very tiny topics, pontoon boats, like not just yeah. boating, but pontoon boats. Uh, it, it's a tiny subset of boats that are only on the water for a few months of the year. Um, and they're expensive. Not everybody can buy them. This is a tiny little topic. Uh, and that web website made a lot of money. Um, so... Don't worry too much about competition. It's okay. There are just a couple areas that we'd say, oh, you, you're going to get a quicker result if you work on something different. Weight loss, just don't. It's, yeah. oh, that's so hard to break into. Okay, so let's let's go through an example site. Um, uh, I bought a truck a couple months ago, and so I wanted my truck to look cool. It kind of looked like a grandpa truck when I got it. And so uh, I wanted to look for like, you know, little rails that I can put on the, you know, like running boards and I don't know, cool wheels and uh, backup camera on it. Just kind of making your truck look cool. So I thought of the, the keyword style truck. I just wanted to style my truck. So I'm going to Google Trends. And I just want to check to see if this is seasonal. Uh, my concern was, are people really just doing their vehicle stuff during the summer months right. and they're going to you know, work on their vehicles or not? And what we see here is there's a little seasonality between it. There are ups and downs, but not, but, uh, not much. This is, this is really just uh, traffic as you know, different topics are hot on the internet, uh, but it's fairly consistent. So I'm not concerned really about this. Let's say uh, I'm just thinking off the cuff here. How about lacrosse? Uh, let's see about seasonality. Well, yeah. this is going to be a little bit tougher in May. You're going to earn a lot of money. And then, uh, two months later in August, your site is dead. Um, this site is, I mean, we're almost tripling our traffic during some periods of the year. Uh, so it's just something to be aware of. So this is Google Trends. It's just worth searching uh, to make sure um, this is a good topic. And you also want to make sure it's not a dying industry. What's an example of a, a dying industry here that we can search? Um Beanie Babies. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what this is. That's probably... Is. You'd probably okay, have to go way back dead. in time it's to just see dead. it. <laughs> <laughs> so just be careful that this, that you're not choosing something, uh, an industry that's dying. You'll see that fairly. Oh, I remembered one I saw the other day uh, was paintball. Yes, paintball's been on the decline for a while now. And I think it's because people are concerned about guns. Uh, people yeah. are worried about guns uh, and airsoft. I was going to say airsoft is taking a lot of paintball. Um, 
Uh, so you know when you see trends like this Although even airsoft that are just uh, just kind of headed downhill steadily. Um, again, there's plenty of traffic in airsoft to earn some income, mm -hmm. but it just causes you to pause and say, sure. eh, you know, tap the brakes a minute. Let's really think through this and make sure we have the right topic. Awesome. Okay. Um, one more that I want to talk about is um, picking a topic that people are actually going to be searching for. Mm. Um, you know, there are a lot of different products out there that people do a little bit of research online for. Um, really inexpensive products. A lot of times they don't. Um, nobody, nobody looks for a blog. I, I, you know, some people may look on a blog for which laundry detergent is best. That, mm -hmm. Okay, fine. But um, most people aren't going to the blog to find out which brand of toilet paper is the best one. Okay. Um, but on the more expensive end, even there are certain products that people aren't going to go research, not on a blog before they buy a couple examples that, you know, we thought of are things like blinds. Okay. You may go to a website where you would buy blinds and you may read a lot of product reviews from customers, but you're not going to go search on Google. Like what are the best blinds to buy for my house? Right. I'm just going to read the user reviews exactly. on Amazon. Exactly. I, I don't need like an in-depth 2000 word no. blog post. No, you don't. And you know, another example is things like rugs. Okay. I'm going to go to a store um, based upon my price range, and I'm going to yeah. find a rug that I like. Yeah, we said find something between $100 and $250. Perfect rugs. Rugs, no. <laughs> no. Nobody's nobody's searching for that, for a, an, an in-depth review on a blog post. Yeah, I always find um, websites for sale. I mentioned that websites are often bought and sold, and I buy uh, websites whenever I can find a good deal. Um, you know, I'll find them um, that are just somebody's written, put a ton of work into a website about uh, hot tubs that you can buy on Amazon. You know, hot tubs, you know, six grand. Uh, so they're like, yes, best affiliate commission ever. Um, uh, but the problem is that people are spending too long to research that. Uh, or, you yeah. know, a roof for your house. Well, that's, you know, maybe ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. But. Um, and you probably could find somebody to recommend. You know, you could find a, a commission junction thing to recommend, uh, you know, people that work on your home and stuff. But the problem is I'm not going to read like a blog post um, on this. I'm more more just going to call around to my friends and say, hey, who's had your roof redone? You know, you have to really think like, are people going to be searching for blog posts on this before they buy? Uh, so it's just something to consider. Absolutely. OK, we've talked a lot about finding yep. um, uh, the right the right niche. That's something we can help you with personally if you do want our help. Um, let's talk about traffic. This is usually what stops people from being successful. Not that traffic is so hard to get, but it's hard to believe in it. It's hard to believe that I can put in the work today and get the result, you know, six, eight months from now that I'm going to see that hockey stick growth in my traffic. Because this is your first blog that you're building, your first successful blog, hopefully, um, it's hard to just have that confidence and that faith that this is really going to work. Like I said in the beginning, when I got my first paycheck from online, I was like, really? Like that worked? You know, it just, there's something about it. It just feels strange. And yeah. now, you know, now I think the reason that my business has grown so much over the last couple of years is. I have that faith now. I know if I start a blog and I follow this recipe that we're showing to you, it's going to earn money. Um, and because of that, I'm not afraid to do the work, the hard work for the first 30, 45, 60 days of your blog uh, that will later reap those rewards. So let's walk through everything. But my point is, you're going to have to trust us a little bit uh, that this works. I hope we've showed you enough examples uh, that you can believe in this to put in the work. So if I were starting a blog today, let's, uh, well, I'll tell you one that I'm, st that I'm thinking about starting. I haven't started yet uh, as a website recommending what university to go to. So these for high school students who want to sign up for college. Um, this is, uh, you know, what school to go to. Well, um, there's an affiliate program that will pay me about a dollar a lead when somebody goes to the website and, um, uh, and enters in their email address. So I want to sign up for that affiliate program. I think it's a good program. Um, the question is, how do I get traffic to get started? Um, what I would do today is I would, 
I would get a hosting account so that mm-hmm. this this is just a computer at somewhere um, in the world that will when somebody types in you know the best college for medical students dot com um, it sends them and shows them the page for my internet that's what a server is um, so I'm going to get hosting uh, that costs eh, three or four dollars a month uh, if you buy it long term um, and and you can find our link at, in, at incomeschool.com slash hosting. That'll send you right there. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get my host. Now I have to install WordPress. You want to talk a little bit about yeah. that? Yeah, so WordPress is, um, it's just, a, it's a company, it's a site that basically it creates sort of the back end um, where you put all of your content. It gives you a nice dashboard where you can, um, you know, that's where you write your blog posts. That's where you put in all your images. It's basically just the more user-friendly version of, I mean, it's going to take what you put in and it's going to turn it into code. Um, the nice thing about sites like WordPress is they make it so you don't, you don't have to know how to code or anything. Uh, very simple, very straightforward. You're going to go to wordpress.com. Um, if you go, if you end up, you know, buying our niche site school product, we're going to literally walk you through Um, signing up for WordPress and installing it on your hosting. Um, But it's very, very simple to do. Uh, When you sign up for your hosting, they're going to have a link to be able to actually go install it on your hosting. And then once you're there, you just, you log into your WordPress dashboard um, and you can start customizing your site. Yeah, Yeah, this this is is what WordPress looks looks like. Mm -hmm. So once it's to this point, when I want to write an article, I just go to posts, add Add new. new. And then at this point, it basically looks like you're composing an email. Yeah. I mean, it's really simple at this point. You just, you know, write your article here, write your headline here. And when I click publish, poof, it it's shows there. up on the front page of my website. It's really not complicated yep. uh, to learn how to use how to use WordPress. But again, yeah. we're going to walk you through everything. So yeah, it can be a little complicated to get started. It can be intimidating. You look at it and you say, I don't really know what to do here to make my site look pretty. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're going to walk you through that uh, and once you know it, it becomes very user friendly. So let's talk about how to find what to even write about. So let's yeah. say we're gonna make our website about uh, about should we do the trucks or the finding your university? Let's do the university. I'm gonna okay. throw you over to the computer. So I, if I just say best college, you know, I make a website about what's the best college. Very broad. There are thousands of blogs about this. Very tough to get that kind of tra- traffic because millions of people are searching that. Yeah. Let's find something niched down, something small, a smaller topic. Um, maybe um, colleges for, I'm thinking like, you know, when I ask teenagers what they want to go to college for, they're always like, well, I want to learn like graphic animation and like make video games and stuff. <laughs> so, so this is a horrible stereotype. Uh, so let's say uh, college for computer animation okay let's say this is what we're searching for i'm going to scoot right down here to searches related to college for computer animation and look at this Um, i'm finding great topics for articles right here um let's say um Oh, Japanese animation colleges. And then I click Japanese animation colleges and I come down here and I say, oh, toy animation and whatever this is. And I click on this and I get further and I look at this and you can see that we're getting closer and closer to these small topics. Now, I this is, we've ended up on a college. This example is falling apart, Ricky. You yeah. got to bail me out here. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's say... Um, how to um, anim um, to become an anim? Okay, here we go. Yep. I'm typing in half of the Google search. How to become an anime, and we're gonna see what this fills at, fills out. How to become an animation director. Ah, okay. So this, if somebody is searching this, there's a good chance they'd be interested in in an animation, you know, learning this in college. Yep. So I'm going to click this, and now we're going to look at the results. Well, the number one result was written four years ago, so that's a there's a good chance that this is a little bit out of date. So we mm-hmm. could write an article to beat this, um, but. And then you got what? A couple job postings. Um, 
Yeah, FAQ from Pixar. Right. Uh, this is this is. Uh, I would write an article on this. I think I could compete. I think I could write an article on this and see some success. If I come down even further, oh look, animation director education. education. Um, yep. So they're wondering what kind of degree do I need to become an animation director? Um, and now we have our keyword. This is it. Uh, we just poke around like this using Google, Google search, uh, just typing in half of the query and see what we do. Let's go yeah. to another example. Let's say I just type in survival knife and then I see these. So if I want to make a website about survival knives, Oh, look, people are looking for survival knife kits. I don't even know what that is. So I'm <laughs> going to find out. I'm going to go research survival knife kits. I don't even need to know anything about it today. And now I'm going to write an article about, you know, the 15 best survival knife kits on Amazon. Yep. Uh, and, and then if that were one of these Google search results, heck, I'd click it. Um, and then uh, people can read my review and get the, the commission. So yep. that is... That's how we're getting traffic. Uh, there are no tricks. Yeah. We do not build links ever. No. We do not build social media ever for these niche sites. There's no Facebook. There's no Twitter. Um, nothing. We are right. We are looking for articles that have little competition. Um, we are writing long articles, 2,500 words, 3,000 words. We wrote an article the other day that was 7,000 words yeah. long. The other um, day, you mean. <laughs> the other days. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it took a while. It took a couple <laughs> days. Um, writing big, extremely helpful posts. Maybe that's how you found Income School, mm -hmm. was one of our big, fat, meaty, extremely helpful posts. Um, putting everything that we can into these articles to make them awesome. Well, you know what Google's job is, what they've spent hundreds of millions of dollars developing and that no company on earth has has given them competition for google what google is good at is finding good content and making it the number one search result on google we don't use tricks and strategies and whatever it will work if you have the best article in the world on the tiny topic that isn't too competitive you're going to rank. It's going to take time. Google wants to see six or eight months of history on your website before mm -hmm. it's going to give you trust. And you want a lot of articles on there. But if you do it, if you build it, it will come. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. That's our strategy. That's it. That's it's really super it. simple. You don't have to have tricks and stuff. It, it's going to work. Well, and the thing, if you know, you might have caught this as we um, sort of walked through this example on, on you know, using Google, right? Um, we don't spend money on keyword research tools. Nope. Um, we've had a lot of people come in for consultations who have spent hundreds of dollars. Thousands even. Yeah, thousands of, I mean, you're talking like in some of these cases over $100 a month for keyword research tools. And what we found is, first of all, the numbers that the keyword research tools give you are always incomplete. They're always wrong. They're just doing the best they can. Well, we get the exact same value out of using Google for free, just searching, um, using the technique that Jim just showed you. And so we, we don't worry about those keyword research tools that cost a fortune. We also don't worry about paying somebody to help us with SEO and link building and all these other things. We don't do that because um, the best way to rank well in the search engines is exactly what Jim just said. Having lots of really, really, really good content and getting really specific and really detailed with your content, especially up first, okay? Um, if you write a really, really broad article that answers a really broad question, it's gonna be hard to compete. It's gonna be hard to be, you know, have the best information on that. But if you niche way down, or rather if you take a really, really, really specific topic, um, you're gonna be able to rank for that pretty early. And if you do that, you know, 30, 40 times, 30, 40 different articles, it's not going to be hard for you to start ranking and driving lots of traffic to your site. Okay, I just found a, a oh, see, they were looking at the computer the whole time, sorry. Um, <laughs> so I just thought of an example while you're talking about this. Um, you know, the styling your truck, mm -hmm. how, oh, oh, I'm gonna type in, oops, how to make your truck and then just space and look, here are my Faster. first five articles. <laughs> Louder, smoother. 
uh, why would I want my truck to sound louder? I would never <laughs> have thought of this. But there I are would people never that do. Have thought you know? of it. Yeah. Uh, but this is what Google is telling you that it expects people to type in. Those are your keywords right there. Exactly. And when you put in the work that most people won't have the confidence in themselves to do, when you go and just say, hey, for the next 60 days, I'm going to write an article. I'm going to write every day. You know, maybe it takes me four or five days to finish a blog post, but I'm going to write every day. And when you do that for 60 days, uh, you have this website that, you know, maybe you've published 25, 35 posts at this point, and you've answered, uh, you know, 45 uh, different questions like this. Even if I don't know the answer, I'm going to go research it. I'm going to find out, and then I'm yeah. going to write it. Um, you're going to see success. Uh, this is a great, great, great way to build traffic. We've done it with more than a dozen sites at this point. It does work. You just have to have faith in the in the process. Okay. Yep. So much uh, that we've talked about already. Um, there are lots of hangups, uh, mistakes that you can make as you're building your site. Um, we had someone, uh, uh, we've had so many, uh, you know, people <laughs> that made uh, a website, uh, you know, like uh, how to style your truck dot CA. That means it's a, it's a Canada, uh, Canada website. website. And so Google is going to say, oh, this probably isn't going to apply to someone in the United States because they've made it a Canada-specific website. Uh, it, not that it can't give traffic to other countries, but it's definitely going to be a caution. That's what those country-specific um, domain name modifiers are for. Uh, it's for specific things. And so uh, that person just was having a hard time giving getting traffic. We did a consultation for somebody. I can't remember what their niche was. Anyway, um, they spent years trying to build it, and that was what was holding them up. When you look at the Google Analytics, that was the problem. Uh, they just needed to find a .com that was available. Um, it would have made a huge, huge difference. Or somebody was using a keyword research tool, and they said, oh, I really wanted to make a website about jet skis, but uh, it looks like only 2,000 people a month are searching for best jet ski. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, hundreds of thousands of people yeah, a month people will maybe be searching an hour, that. The keyword know? research tool is wrong. Yeah. There are so many and so many mistakes that we have learned from the School of Hard Knocks that that's what we want to share with you. Uh, I told you in the beginning that we have a program that can help you. You don't have to sign up for it. You know, if you just have no money right now or you're like, you know, I got this, uh, I can proceed forward. We've given you the information you need. Go to incomeschool.com slash start. We have tons of free information available yep. for you. I don't think everyone listening to this webinar needs to sign up for this program. But if you really want this to be successful, you're committed to doing something and you want us, uh, our experience to help you get it done, then we want to help you. So yep. tell us a little bit about what we're doing. Yeah. So uh, Jim's already described it a little bit, but um, you know, if you sign up for this program, what you're going to get, we're going to send you a survey. We're going to ask you some really specific questions where um, we're going to kind of get a feel for you. We're going to get a feel for if you have ideas, um, you know, the more detail you give us, the better. And then what we're going to do is uh, one of us or both or, you know, a lot of times we'll kind of talk about these. We're going to sit down. We're going to go through your ideas and we're going to record a 10 to 15 minute audio consultation. Um, and again, it really is. It's one of us. OK. And then, you know, we're going to send you that consultation and help you really sort through your ideas and make specific recommendations not just which of your ideas is the best but we're going to help point you take that idea and point it in the right direction to make it as successful as possible and we're going to help you know sort of brainstorm with you in that audio consultation once you get that then like jim said you're going to get 60 days of an email almost every day containing videos that are going to literally walk you through step by step uh, how to build your site we're going to we're going to help you if you know nothing we're going to help you start from that, create a website, get your hosting, get it on WordPress, get a nice theme to make your site look really good. And I'll add with that, so we get people at all different skill levels. We do. Yeah. Some absolutely. people the first week, they're like, no, don't worry. I got WordPress. You know, uh -huh. Don't worry about this part. Uh, and we'll have lots of more uh, advanced information for you about how to get the traffic, how to set up the monetization, exactly. all that stuff. Yep. But if you haven't done this before, 
there will be no step that will confuse you. Exactly. And if We're going to hold your hand. Email us. Exactly. <laughs> you can actually like just email Ricky and be like, hey, I was wondering, is this a good idea or will this be a good mm-hmm. idea for a website? Or I can't have, I can't, I'm not having any success uh, finding good topics for my articles. Go find one for me, Ricky. Yeah. And we will do it for you. <laughs> That's the thing is, um, you know, I've had a few people, a lot of people don't take advantage of that. But for some people, that's been the most valuable part mm-hmm. of this program is they get to reach out to us f- during those 60 days. They get to email us and we will answer their questions, very specific questions. In fact, the other day I had to, um, there was just a weird hiccup, a weird WordPress hiccup. And um, I ended up asking that guy, hey, can you give me admin access to your site? Make me a user on your site. I even sh- you know, told him how to do that. So I could go in and troubleshoot the problem for it. And 30 minutes later, it was done. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what we're going to do for you. We're going to literally walk through. Well, I can't. We're not going to literally hold your hand, but we're going to figuratively <laughs> <laughs> hold your hand and walk through this process with you. It's not that kind of relationship. <laughs> you can't pay for that. We have lives. <laughs> we do. <laughs> but at the end of 60 days, if you just follow the program, you're going to have a, a website that you know, give it a little bit of time. It's going to build traffic and you're going to be able to earn a living and income from this site. Yeah. I, I, I guess what I want to say about, about the program that we're doing is from a business perspective, this doesn't scale for us No, Um, for the amount that we're charging for us to spend our time looking through your survey, answering questions, walking you through it. This is not a business plan that scales. Um, and frankly, we've just decided that we don't care. We're going to do it anyway uh, for a couple reasons. One, we want to help other families, uh, other people to provide for their families. That's awesome. That gives me fulfillment. Um, and uh, two, we, you know, if we have to raise prices later, that's fine. Uh, if we have to change things later, that's fine. But right now, uh, especially as we're launching this program, it's only been around for what, six months now. Um, we want to build it up and we want to make it so useful to so many people that we have a time crunch, exactly. that we have a problem and we're going to figure it out from there. Uh, so you're getting a really incredible amount of value uh, because you're, you're jumping on this as, as it's a new um, as it's a new offering on income school. Uh, we very much believe that if you follow the recipe, that when we see people that you know are following our recommendations for their their niche topic, that are doing the work and writing those blog posts, you can't have two blog posts and wait four years and just hope to get money. That's not going to work. When you write those blog posts, finding good topics, but do give it time, give it six months, uh, and let Google start giving you some traffic. Um, when you do that. We really believe that in the vast majority of cases, you're going to be successful. We can't guarantee it. Nobody can. No. Um, this has to do with your individual effort. But I, the reason that I wake up in the morning and I start working on making new blogs is because I definitely believe this recipe works because I've seen it a lot of times. And that's what we're inviting you to do. You can check the buttons below. We have some more information on the program. You can sign up and hopefully we can uh, help to change your life as it has ours. Yep. That, that was a good note to end on. Yeah, I feel I so good. <laughs> All right. Thanks everybody for joining us on the webinar. Uh, check the buttons below. Look at some information on Niche Site School and we'll see you later.